want to welcome you back to Black Side Sports, and tonight we're going to talk about Charlotte Hornets forward Montrez Harrell facing drug charges after having three pounds of marijuana in his car. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Montrez Harrell, a Charlotte Hornets forward, had three pounds of marijuana in his car. I'm going to read this quick article off of The Guardian. Charlotte Hornets forward Montrez Hill is facing a felony drug charge after authorities said they found a vacuum sealed bags of marijuana in his car during a traffic stop. Harold, 28, was pulled over in Richmond, Kentucky by a state trooper on May 12th for driving behind a vehicle too closely. The Charlotte Observer reported on Monday citing court records. The trooper said he smelled marijuana and after a search discovered three pounds of marijuana in a vacuum seal bag inside a backpack in the back seat, Harrell has been charged with trafficking less than five pounds of marijuana. If convicted, he could face up to five years in prison. He is scheduled for a preliminary court hearing on the July 13th. Harrell, a former star at the University of Louisville, has played seven seasons in the NBA, including three seasons with the Clippers, two with the Houston Rockets. He joined the Hornets in February, but was due to become an unrestricted free agent this summer. It was not immediately clear whether Harrell had an attorney who could comment on his behalf. The Hornets declined to comment according to the Charlotte Reserve Observer. We know these brothers in the NBA, that's all they do is smoke weed. They wake up smoking weed, they go to bed smoking weed. But you have to understand some states, marijuana is still illegal, especially when you're carrying three pounds. And we know the federal government hasn't made marijuana legal. We know in certain jurisdictions like New York, California, Colorado, you can buy weed, you can smoke as much as you want. But if you live in a state that has not legalized the drug, you could face heavy felony charges. And we know that Montrez Harrell, who has been in the NBA, we know he's making more than $10 million a year, that he's willing to blow his whole career up over some damn marijuana. What is wrong with these NBA players that they can't go without smoking the weed? Now he has to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on court costs, paying a lawyer, trying to get them to bust it down to a misdemeanor and pay, basically pay a fine and go on probation so he can continue his career. Now they just said he joined the Hornets in February but was due to become an unrestricted free agent this year. That means he could have doubled his salary, maybe went up to close to $20 million a year. But that's going to hurt his future income because he has this pending litigation when it comes to smoking weed. Man, these players, man, they're a hot mess out here, man. You willing to blow your future financial earnings, probably get a one-year contract instead of a long-term contract, three- to five-year deal, to which you can make that $20 million, and that'll be after three, maybe three, $60 million, $100 million deal. You know the way they give away money in the NBA. But Montrez Harrell is a complete damn fool. The weed was the only thing on his mind. And since that was on his mind, that's why he was arrested, and that's why his future earnings are going to go down instead of up. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side Sports. I hope you give a quick comment. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.